called for a need to articulate an effective and tangible policy and its response by the G20 countries to revive the trade engine of the global economy. Addressing the G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting in Washington yesterday, Jaitley further emphasized that countries must avoid trade protectionist measures and refrain from competitive devaluations. The G20 nations have sought a crackdown on tax havens, shell companies and terror financing by increasing financial transparency and sharing of key information in a timely manner. The step comes after startling revelations made by Panama Papers, naming some of the world's prominent leaders as owners of shell companies. At the G20 meeting in Washington, the grouping supported a proposal to create a blacklist of global tax havens that are not cooperating on the international information sharing framework. The G20 finance ministers reiterated that it is essential that all countries and jurisdictions fully implement the Financial Action Task Force standards on the transparency and beneficial ownership of legal persons and legal arrangements and express determination to lead by example in this regard. <clears throat> And Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has arrived to participate in the International Monetary and Financial Committee meeting, that is the Governor's Meet. The Finance Minister will attend IMFC plenary session and also Development Committee plenary meeting in Washington later on.